Willie, how are you doing, boy? Hey, Willie, wait! Where are you going? You got me, Kason. Willie just ran off with some bones I was carrying as evidence. Bones? I can't really go into the details, but I need them. York, that's not good. Willie loves bones. He's a dog. And carrying bones around with him is like, well, like throwing a blonde in a bikini into a boy's locker room. It's almost like you were asking for trouble. Sorry, but you're just gonna have to forget about your bones. I better run after him now. I'll see you later. Forget about them? If I gave up that easily, then I wouldn't be a good federal agent, would I, Zack? We're going to have to search his house, Zack. Let's get back those precious bones. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. said ordered him? An alien. Well, of course, we couldn't arrest an alien, so we arrested the professor instead. Serial killers can't be caught by logic and common sense. I learned this the hard way. That first case taught me that. Since then, these cases just keep getting more and more complicated. It's a tough job. I thought getting experience while I was young would make the job easier.
a bad one around this time of year. Three years ago. Remember, Zach? Yes, that's right. That one. Multiple homicide, same MO, across Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. The victims were all average married housewives. But after being run over so many times by a car, they didn't look human. Five victims in two months in the three states. The way he killed them was almost the same. But aside from that, there was nothing that linked the victims together. Well, they were all married. But age, race, nothing was matched up. Tire marks and fragments of paint ID'd the car that was used. That's where things got really tricky. The perpetrator used a 1993 model Cadillac Elante as a weapon. It was registered in the name of one senator. No, I don't feel like talking about this anymore. That senator's basement. I wish I could forget what I saw there. seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases, and we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls, and they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However, we must not overlook there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at Carol's Bar at 2200. We're free until then. Zach, we're here. Let's continue our chat later. Nick's still in the bar. Just as we planned, then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy that. What about Diane?
Emily, check that with George. George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. What's happening with Diane? Stay put, George. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. by now if I was driving. <sighs> I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. Oh. <gasps> Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't want the time to get serious. Hold on, you two, this might get bumpy. Nick here? George. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something's different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. Not that I don't trust you, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you? 